Michael. You're alright. You're alright. Did you actually see my buddy leave? What? Where did you go? In a minute, AJ. I'm gonna try some proper 10 out of 10. It's beautiful. <laughs> you five of these. Kevin! Please. Sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. We need to go. Bars and shit. <laughs> Here means you can stop it. It's a head start to find them before they. Andre, Sabrina, Rodney. Taser, Andre, Sabrina. What the fuck are you doing, above? Do you know what time? The very first scene of the show takes viewers back to the last time they saw the heroes. Michael Lasaki Brown, Tosin Cole, who is being sought after by a distraught Dion Offrey, Addis Dio Adadio, materializes out of thin air. She becomes even more alarmed when he says he was in the future. When Andre Simpson, Eric Kofi Abreva gets home from the ATM, he chuckles and stuffs the money into a box in his room. Right now, it seems that only Rodney Cullen, Calvin Denver is attempting to replicate his feat of running up a hill. He fails to do so and ends up sitting on the curb, when he approaches Angus Stoby, a prospective customer, who is smoking a joint. While Charlene Clark, Rake Sierra Joe laughs and jokes that Sabrina knocked Kevin, Junior Afalabi Salokan out, Sabrina Clark, Nadine Mills is attempting to wake him up. They decide to depart, Kevin's still asleep, as distant sirens start to sound. Dion seems exhausted from her previous panic attack, and as she falls asleep in Mike's arms, he recalls a little more of his encounter with his future self. In addition to giving him the names of Andre, Taza, Josh Tadeku, Rodney, and Sabrina, the future Mike also threatens to kill Dion if any of them pass away. Mike suddenly stops by Gabriel, Michael Salami later that evening and tells him everything, including Dion's estimated date of death. He puts it all down to pre-wedding nerves, even though Gabriel seems to be taking him seriously. To see, Andy Thompson interrupts Tazza as he is ready to tell Screamer, Mikira Oji about his abilities as they are watching another of Chucky's, Digger D Dis postings. To see displays to Dots, Xavier Russell and Tiny, a Kai Coleman a new post that was uploaded five minutes ago. The Tower Boys get on their bicycles and sprint to the post's location in the hopes of sending Chucky packing. With Chucky and the Sixes unable to be seen, the Tower Boys vent their resentment against Tyrone, Joshua Cameron. As soon as Tyrone asserts that he is not linked, Tazza becomes weary of the criticism. One of the Tower Boys doesn't discover a post with Tyrone and Chucky until Tyrone is leaving. The Tower Boys are ready to catch up to Tyrone despite his early advantage when an unexpected throng of Sixes materializes. The Tower Boys split off during the subsequent chase, and Tazza soon finds himself trapped by Chucky and many Sixes. When Tazza draws his sword and assumes a battle position, the Sixes cannot contain their laughter. The moment he turns invisible and begins slashing him, the laughing stops. Just as Tazza chops off the side of Chucky's throat, Screamer reappears on his bike. Two other males who are only silhouettes have also witnessed Tazza using his abilities, according to a nearby surveillance video, in addition to Screamer.